Hi, I'm Andy Mason. I'm the site manager for Robert Woodheads here at uh, St Nick's Church in Lincoln, and I'd like to show you around site if I may. We're now starting to get the roof on. The slates are already been taken up. In the process now of taking the roof light up to try and get that in situ. And if you like them to open, take a closer look. Right, so here we are on the east side of the new roof to the main building. Um, as you can see, we've already felted this. We've got the tile battens on ready for the slating to start at any time. To the east of where I'm stood now is a, uh, the, the lean-to building. This roof is going to be covered with turn-coated stainless steel, so it will look like, or well, a lot like lead when it's um, weathered a little bit. A little bit lower down on the north elevation, we, we can see the contrast now between the split-face stone that we're using for the walling and the ashlars that have been using for the coins, the windows, etc. Um, this was quite a deliberate decision to do this, even though the original church was made entirely from ashlar. It's been done to make the new build distinctive from the old. So, to accommodate this doorway, we've had to shorten the, one of the existing windows in the church, including the stained glass that it's got inside it. The stained glass is off-site at the minute being adapted, and part of it will be put back into the shortened window, the other part will be used in the door, so nothing will be lost from that stained glass. We're now inside the main building and again we've got this contrast between the existing sacristy wall that's about 100 years old and the modern building techniques that we're using. Here we're, in, we're installing the underfloor heating. Working on the heritage side, a lot of what we do is almost invisible when we leave site. This is not going to be invisible. This is going to be a very imposing structure and one we can look back on and say yes, we, we built that. Well, the church is very keen to take the ministry out into the general community and we see this as an extension to that. Not only us taking our ministry out into the local area, but the local area can come to us with these, this wonderful new building. Well, it means that we have premises which we can use for all the church activities. We can continue our involvement with the community and it will generally liven up the life of the church. It will give a wider variety of spaces to be used for meetings, for fellowship, just for living the Christian life as we come together, which is what the church is about. It's, it really is an exciting project for, for the future of, of, of our work within uh, this area of Lincoln. 